Okay, so on this one, it's just arranged a little bit differently. I don't know if that could give us any problems or not. So we are used to seeing it in this form. So it would be like x and y. Then we would have 1 is 4, 2 we don't know, 3 we don't know, 4 we don't know, and 5 is 324. So now we just need to fill in that, those blanks, right? They told us in the directions what type of sequence is it. So we know it's a geometric, right? So on this problem, there's two different ways of doing it, right? We could find the fourth term by using the, or the third term, I mean, by finding the geometric mean because this third term's right in the middle of the first and fourth term, or fifth term. Wow, wake up. All right, so for the third term, all we'd have to do is find the geometric mean of 4 and 324. So what is 4 times 324? It's a good time for calculator people. What is it? 1296. So what is the square root of 1296? Thirty-six. So the geometric mean of four and three twenty-four is thirty-six. Now two, the second term is right in the middle of the fourth and third term, right? So all we have to do now is find the geometric mean of four and thirty-six. So what is four times thirty-six? So what is the square root of 144? 12. So now, once I get to this stage of the game, I could go <coughs> use recursive to figure it out. So what did I multiply the 4 by to get 12? So is 12 times 3 36? So what's 36 times 3? 108, then what's 108 times 3? 324. So we did it right. Okay? Now that works if you have a middle term a couple of times. But the for sure way that you really probably want to have memorized too, or if you're only going to memorize one way, memorize it the way I'm going to show you now. So what you're going to do on this one is you're going to take the last term divide it by the first term, and then <clears throat> take the root of that. The root we're going to take is the 5 minus 1 root, because it's the fifth term, and the first term are the numbers we used. So what is 324 divided by 4? Eighty-one. So what is the fourth root of eighty-one? So on your calculator, you should have that memorized. I told you at the beginning of the section you want to have that memorized. But if you don't have it memorized, what you want to do is just take eighty-one and then raise that to the one-fourth power. Make sure you put that in parentheses. If you don't put it in parentheses, you'll get the wrong answer. So what is 81 to the 1 fourth power? 2. No. Is it 3? It's 3. 81 to the 1 fourth power, or the fourth root, is 3. Because 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. So the fourth root of 81 is 3. 
And so that helped us to find out what our R value was. And so now we could just go 4 times 3, get our 12, 12 times 3, 36, and so on and so forth. But that's the way we could find R. And that way it will work every time, whether it's an even number of, you know, terms we're looking for or whatever. Yes, ma'am.